being broadcast on Facebook and recorded. Please mute your microphones and please put your comments in the chat. I want to uh, describe our judge today. It's our judge is Kevin King, the founder of King's Canvas, a nonprofit studio gallery in West Montgomery, Alabama. The King's Canvas provides a place where unestablished artists in the community can create freely and affordably and display their work. And now I'd like to turn this over to Mr. King. All right, how's everyone doing? Yeah, good. I guess you're muted, so you probably <laughs> can't hear what you're I'll saying. answer on everyone's behalf. They're great. All right, all right, all right good. So um, I am uh, the director of the King's Canvas Gallery and Studio about, uh, I'm going to start and say I grew up doing art and uh, around 17 years old, well, meaning adults in my life, basically told me to get a real job, go to school and pick a real major. And uh, they stated that I could not receive any, you know, or make a career out of art. So I went to school for mechanical engineering at Tuskegee University. Uh, life happened. And about seven years ago in 2013, my wife and daughter uh, bought me art supplies and uh, we were going through a lot at the time and my wife's words to me were i'm officially taking away your excuses not to create so she bought me art supplies and i started creating and found out that i was actually good <laughs> and so as i started selling uh, artwork around the city i noticed uh just just i guess the inequities that african-american artists has as opposed to a lot of our friends and so I created the King's Canvas as a way to uh, provide opportunity and access to those artists who uh, needed to be developed and those artists who did not have the same exposure that me and a lot of other artists had in the city. So uh, it's, it's going great. You can check out the website later. I'm not going to spend all of the time talking about myself. I'm, I'm thankful to, uh, for Alyssa and Miguel, uh, you know, for uh, reaching out, asking me to, uh, to be a judge. Uh, and so I've, I've never done this before, especially virtually. You know, I love art. I love art shows. I have been judges at art competitions, but this is my first uh, virtual uh, art competition. And I'm, I'm excited and I'm nervous at the same time. <laughs> All right. Uh, Seeing Eye to Eye by Lily Lack. Uh, honorable mention. All right, so I, I love this uh, photo. This was so this was so hard to judge. Uh, but the first thing I noticed uh, about this particular image in the uh, animal section was uh, the young lady uh, holding the camera. Uh, beautiful background. Uh, you can just see uh, the life that she's interacting. Uh, I guess that's a raccoon. Uh, but I was so drawn into the person, um, I had to remember that this was the animal portrait. <laughs> Uh, animal section. And so this, this is an awesome photo. Um, uh, and I, I, I just, I love this painting. I have something to tell you by Ali Morgan, uh, watercolor, color pencil, and pens on paper. Yeah, so uh, this is awesome too. Now, as a, a person who's afraid of dogs, you know, I have a lot of friends who say, uh, Kevin, that dog didn't bite, but I always say, man, that dog has teeth. So if that dog has teeth, the dog bites. But, and I know that's not all the way true, but uh, I love the colors. Uh, I love the um, white background that's this, you know, and I, and I grew up, I actually grew up with a German Shepherd. Um, and so this kind of reminded me uh, of my childhood. It's, it's beautiful, so. Lunch with Panda by Alden uh, Schofield. Schofield? I'm sorry, y'all. Please forgive me if I pronounce these names wrong. Yeah, I love it. Um, so this panda <laughs> looks like he's about to um, have some lunch for real uh, with that um, with the piece of grass that's in front of him. I love the eyes. Uh, I I love the symmetry of his eyes in relation to his head, and that's a um, it's it's a weird happiness and sadness, uh, sad look on his face. Um, and I, I was just kind of drawn into it. I kept coming back to this one over and over and over again because I just, um, I love the layout. Yeah, this is awesome. 
And by the way, all of these was great. That's why this was so hard to judge. Hold Me by Diane Shipley, my watercolor, 13 by 13. So uh, one of my students, uh, and, I, and I guess I should not say student, but a young lady who paints at the King's Canvas, she loved painting cats. I thought of Amy, I thought of Amy, um, you know, when I saw this one. I love the eyes, I love the, uh, love the glare of the cat's eyes. So this is pretty good. All right, honorable mention, uh, Sheltered by Patrick Siege, a uh, seed. And uh, another thing, so that has been an animal portrait um, uh, category. Um, I was initially drawn to the young lady's uh, face, her smile, her glasses, or her phone. This was a very hard one, uh, very well done. Uh, I, I, I love the, uh, just her interaction with the dogs, and you can tell that there's a lot of uh, I love going on um, in this painting. Uh, this is awesome, uh, very beautiful, well done. Third place, uh, Gray by Julia Rosenbaum. So the color contrast uh, in this one to me is very unique. Uh, you know, uh, just looking at the, 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 I see grays and blues and uh, the dog's head is down, so he seems kind of uh, blue, seems kind of sad, uh, but he also seems like, uh, and, I, and this may be a stretch, I don't know what the person was thinking when they did this, but to me it seems like a, a sad dog for a moment uh, that's, that's also uh, received a lot of love as well. You know, he has the dog chain gone, so clearly he belongs to somebody. But uh, just the colors to me just communicates uh, a lot of emotion. And so this is, this is awesome. Third place. All right, second place. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Arch, Arch, Archimedes the Owl. Is that how, you, how it's pronounced? Someone correct me on that. Somebody please correct me on this one. Archimedes. 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 What did I say? Archimedes? Archimedes the Owl by Kathy Wilson. Mixed media with watercolor, digital, and oil pastel. Yes, yeah, so I love it. Uh, you know, owls have always been a mystery to me. <laughs> you know, and I, I, just the light and the shadows in this one, I was kind of drawn to it, other than the owl's eyes, just the lights and the shadows. Even the light and the shadows on the branches in front of the owl, uh, as well as uh, what it seems like uh, just him being embedded, maybe on the side of a, a brick building of some sort, or some sort of ruins. I don't really know what that was, but it seemed to be uh, a break in the uh, background and um, our branches in the foreground. I just love the light and shadows, uh, as well as the eyes. This is awesome. Hungarian Folk Tales, uh, first place by Dora Patton. So yeah, so this is another one I was, uh, I was drawn to, I was fascinated. Um, you know, this kind of reminded me of someone with an SLR camera uh, taking a picture. Uh, and you, as you can see, the, uh, uh, the flowers are focused in the foreground and in the background. Uh, I love how they blur it out. Uh, I love it because it definitely reminds you of someone who has an SLR camera that's specifically trying to focus on a bird. And it kind of reminds me of trying to take a picture in portrait mode with my iPhone you know, uh, tapping on the iPhone, uh, trying to get it to actually focus on what's in front of you as opposed to what's behind you. Uh, this is beautifully done. Uh, even um, the platform, just the bowl and uh, the uh, tree trunk uh, that the bird is perched on, uh, just the color contrast between the trunk and uh, I guess that teal uh, in the bottom half of the background is awesome. Great job. Congratulations. Kevin, a number of these artists are on the call today. If you um, wanted to um, have any of anyone speak or um, comment on their works. Yeah, I would love it if they would come in. I don't have any specific person uh, that I'd like to speak to, but if they are on the call, I would love to hear from some of you. Okay, would any of the award winners like to jump in? Dora, I see you're online. 
Um, um, hi. Um, hi. It's me. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I am so excited about this uh, and so happy. I am actually outside at my son's uh, soccer practice at the moment. I'm watching this and I'm jumping from joy. All right. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Well done. Thank yeah. you. Let's see, anyone else want to jump in? Kathy Wilson, I see you're here. Pat? Um, Julia? No? All right. Well, we can go to the next category. People Portraits, Honorable Mention, uh, Let Me Think About It by Susan Friend. Yes, yeah, so um, this one was amazing to me. Um, just the different mediums that were used and, you know, growing up in the South, um, you know, growing up in Mobile, Alabama, my mother's from Gosport, Alabama. And um, my brother and I recently was in the Rosa Parks Museum here and there were quilts on the wall. And my brother asked the question, he said, man, what's going on with this? And I said, well, these days, quilts are viewed as artwork. And my brother, my older brother said, man, back when we were at Big Mama's house, those were our comforters. Those, <laughs> were, those were our blankets. And I said, yeah. And I said, guess what? I still have some of those blankets and you don't because you thought that they were just blankets. <laughs> and so uh, this is, that's the first thing that struck me about this uh, 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 piece of artwork here. And I, I love the, uh, uh, the different patterns in this shirt and in the couch and yeah so great job honorable mention woman in leather jacket by janet is it uh hillel or hilo hillel hillel i believe hillel, okay like i said please forgive me if i crack up your name woman in leather jacket all right so i love this so this reminds me of my wife by the you know by the hair uh, I love uh, big hair. Uh, I love just uh, just this expression of, I don't have to conform uh, to whatever mold you try to fit me in. I'm gonna be myself. Like she exhibits confidence. Uh, she has on a leather jacket. You know, it looks like she has a bit of an attitude. Uh, I just, I absolutely love it. Love the hair. Mishika, is that Mishika by Hiral Josley? Joshi? Yes, Mishika, she's my daughter. Okay. All right, so, man, when I saw this, it's like I had to, I had to take a step back because it was so bold and so bright. Um, you know, that's how most of my art is with the color compositions. Uh, there's a lot of boldness and brightness to it. Uh, I love the, uh, I just love the light. Um, you know, there's a sense of comfort in this baby land, you know, in the bed. And, you know, then it seems like with this, uh, and I, I guess that's not a hoodie. Uh, I know that's a, I guess it looks like a knit hood. I mean, it's just signs of love just all over. And of course, love is written in the background. I love bundle of love. But man, I just love children. I love the innocence in it. Uh, and it's, it's just well done. Just, yeah, the details. Mm -hmm. Who am I? by Karen Latner. Yeah, so this is awesome. Uh, I, I wrestled with this one too, uh, cause it was, all of them were just so well done. Uh, I love art, of course, because I'm on here. We are in the process now in Montgomery of just painting murals all over this city. And as I see this young lady standing on a wall, it kind of reminds me of what's going on in Montgomery. Uh, and I, I love just the, the pants she has on, her shoes, just, uh, her confident, her level of confidence. Uh, the colors to me uh, are beautiful. Uh, looks like it's a sunny day. She has on the shades. Just, just really cool, you know. So I love it. Well done. That's, that's my that's my grandson. Oh, it's really? a boy. Oh, that, oh, the hair is long. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, and that that well, that's part of the point is that you know children try on different different personalities as they grow up, you know. Just yeah, that's awesome. All right, all right. You got a cool grandson. <laughs> all right, uh, Geraniums and the Tie. Oh, I'm sorry, Geraniums and Tie by Patrick Seed. Okay. 
Yeah, so this one is uh, really well done. Of course, I keep talking about light and shadows. I, I just, I love it. Uh, like even the small details to the wrinkles in his shirt and the wrinkles in his pants. Uh, even the wrinkles, now this is gonna sound weird, y'all, but even the wrinkles in his crotch area, how the light meets the darkness right there. Uh, it's just fascinating how, how well done this is. Uh, you know, the plants off to the side, even the shadows uh, look like he's on a back deck or something like that with glass behind him. Yeah, this is, uh, this is beautiful. Pat, this, this did was, you do that as a self-portrait? Yeah, I, I thought about adding some hair on top but decided not to. Oh, man, <laughs> this is uh, well done. This is beautiful. Well, thank you, Kevin. I, yeah. um, I think it's a, as much a portrait about the tie as it is anything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By, by the way, I, just a real quick thing. The, the tie is, is from the National Gallery of Art. There's an artist named Gene Davis, who's mm. part of the Washington Color School, and he's on display in the East Wing. And this tie was modeled after one of his paintings. So I love the tie. Thank mm. you. Awesome. All right, another honorable mention, Birthday Wishes by Kathleen uh, Tynan. Yeah, so that's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is beautiful. Uh, this young lady is about to have a time of her life with this cupcake. Um, and of course, I love the light and the shadows. I love how, uh, you know, uh, the light is kind of bouncing off of her head or being uh, reflected in her hair. Um, you know, just the candle. Um, and I, I'm looking at the hair. I don't know. It's, it's just it's just beautiful. Uh, with the light and the shadows uh, as, you know, with the darkness in the foreground. And so I, I created a piece once that was uh, similar to this, that had the light um, or the candle uh, with the flame, but I couldn't quite, I wish I would have seen something like this before, uh, just so I can kind of capture the light on the person's face. So this is good. What was the media on this, Kathy? Uh, so this is a soft pastel, mm. and th that's my granddaughter. She's three years old, and right. she was blowing out her birthday candle. Mm. And she's actually prettier than this. Oh, she's, yeah, this is very Of course, pretty. she's my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, third place. Bread by Allie Morgan, scratch board with iridescent glitter and resin. Yeah, so I came back to this several times. I had to go back and look at the medium, uh, just the, the details. This just seemed like this was a, a, a tedious thing to do. And it, it seemed to me like it was pretty hard to pull off. I don't know if it was or not, but I'm very impressed at the technique, by the technique, uh, and attention to details uh, while using our scratch board. It's awesome. Great job. Second place, Searching by Paula Zeller. Yeah, so this one just, I, I was just blown away. I, I don't know where they were, um, but just the, I mean, the stripes in the shirt um, to the young lady with the glasses on, with the, the colors and, um, the wrinkles, I love wrinkles in clothing. I love to see wrinkles reflected. I love to see line patterns um, shifting and changing uh, as, you know, uh, with, within the wrinkles in the shirt. You know, even the way that the turtleneck is folded, those small details in the hair. Uh, seem like whatever they're looking at, and I'm pretty sure that this was done off of uh, an actual image, but they were being very attentive. <laughs> yeah, great job. This is a wonderful job. Paula was the grand prize winner at our big Labor Day show last year. Okay. So she gets to be the reigning winner for two years because we're not having the show this year. Okay, okay. Beautiful yeah. work, Paula. Yeah, excellent. African Queen by Isabella, is it Martri, a mar martyr? I'm sorry. I think it's Martire. Martyr, okay, I was about to say, if Isabella, if Isabella is on, Isabella is on, please tell me what your last name is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, African Queen. So this one was very captivating. Uh, 
you know, she reminds me of one of my family members, or like she could be one of my family members. And of course, you know what I'm gonna say, just uh, just looking at the, uh, just the resilience in her face, looking at the strong features, her lips, the attention to detail in her lips, uh, and even with the, the gold chain and the beads around her neck, uh, and the head wrap, oh my goodness, just the light, the, uh, the shadows, and the attention to detail in the fabric. Man, this is amazing. Like, I, I literally could not stop looking at this. You know, I mean, it just spoke volumes. Isabella, can we take you off mute so you could tell us a little bit more about this painting? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Hi. Yes. Yes, this woman is Nigerian and the stunning clothes and head gear. I mean, it's, um, yeah. she was very stunning. She, I actually had her bring in a couple of different clothes. I took the pictures myself mm. and um, that headgear was just stunning. So, yeah. And she has a very, you know, her expression was. Mm -hmm. Was she a model that you hired or someone you know? No, someone I know. Hmm. Beautiful. Someone well, I know. Mm -hmm. well done. I think a lot of the um, life in a portrait comes from the artist's connection to the people that they're painting. Oh, and absolutely. I think, I think all of the portraits here were people that our artists knew, not just the model. And there's something extra special about that connection. I think. Kevin, you were probably drawn to that, or that was probably evoked from the work. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, everyone. Um, I just want to put in a comment about uh, the King's Canvas, and I really would hope that you could join our Montgomery Artists Supporting Montgomery Artists campaign to donate to Kevin's nonprofit at thekingscanvas.org/donate. I think it would be a great way for artists to to help each other out, uh, particularly in these times. And can I jump in, Miguel? Yes. Um, so before uh, you all joined us, Kevin was telling us a little bit about his summer. Um, he was, his family's been personally affected by COVID. Um, there have been, there's been some violence in his neighborhood that he has had to cope with and at the same time, uh, family was getting over co COVID. He's had a really rough summer. <laughs> Hoping you have a beautiful fall, Kevin. Yeah, um, absolutely. But all throughout the difficulties that he's been coping with this summer, he's still been there to support artists in Montgomery, Alabama. And for me, this is just extra reason that I want to try to help out his nonprofit. So I hope that everyone could join us in supporting the artists in his community and supporting his work by giving a small contribution to his nonprofit. We'll be sending out a note this weekend as well with the link. Um, I know times are hard for everyone right now, uh, but if you could find it in your heart to help support fellow Montgomery artists, we would all be very appreciative. Now, is there, I, I'm kind of mm -hmm. paranoid in putting stuff on the, the, the computer. Mm -hmm. is, is there a way that we could mail a check yes. rather than? Yes, ma'am. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Kevin, yeah. could you put your address in the chat? Yes, I'm doing that right now. Mm -hmm. And we'll also include that in an email to the membership that we'll send out this weekend. Thank you for that question. Yeah, that's a great question. Thank you. All right. I want to uh, mention that we have a call for entry for the Judged Abstract show from October 12th to the 19th. And this show will run from November 1st to December 31st. And I want to thank Kevin King for his wonderful judging and comments. It's been really fantastic having you here. Thank you. And thank everyone for participating. Does anyone have any other questions? This was great, Miguel. Thank you for your work as the show manager. We're very appreciative of all of your um, 
efforts to put this show together for us. Well, I was happy to do it. Yeah. All right. So we have two more shows, guys. We have two this more. abstract and then still life. We'll probably take a little bit of a break because your show managers could use it. Um, we have a Pulitzer Prize winning artist who will serve as our next judge. Uh, there was some information about that in our um, um, monthly newsletter that went out today. So on behalf of um, Miguel and myself and our judge, Kevin King, thank you everyone for joining us tonight and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Congratulations, Bye. Isabella. Bye.